Hey, I'm Alex Cornicelli. You can see me on Alex vs. America. And right now we are talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, which is bacon in all its glory. This is a classic sliced bacon that we know can be made in a multitude of ways. It's pork belly that is sometimes salted, sometimes it's salted and smoked, but essentially it's a cured and usually smoked pork belly that is then thinly sliced. This is slab bacon, which is the same as regular bacon, but the whole pork belly is just smoked whole, and then when it's sliced, it becomes regular bacon. Slab bacon you can cut up into different pieces. If you're making, say, some classic French recipes like beef bourguignon or a frise salad with bacon lardons and an egg, that's what the slab bacon is really good for. This is pancetta. I mean, it's beautiful, first of all, but it's also delicious. Just browned off in a tomato sauce. The more complex forms of bacon that we see a lot, Canadian bacon, which we see a lot traditionally, parked under a poached egg in a classic Eggs Benedict. These three cuts, the pancetta, the sliced bacon, and the slab bacon all come from the belly. Canadian bacon actually comes from the back or the loin, so it's really lean. You can see it's meat and then the fat on the edge, almost like a pork chop. And this is the belly and you can see the fat runs all the way through. So it's really about what effect you wanna have. More meaty like a ham and less about that delicious smoky fat. Turkey bacon, this is smoked and cured turkey that is then processed into this form and you can see how far away visually this is from turkey. So that's a lot of processing that goes on to get this product, but it is a leaner alternative if you're looking to have a bacon experience, but a little less risky in the calorie and cholesterol department. And then seitan bacon, which is actually, seitan is just wheat protein. It's literally just wheat that is processed. So this is meat-free, dairy-free. It's also bacon-free, but it's a good vegetarian or vegan substitute if you want that feel. And even that smoky flavor, you could definitely use a meat alternative like this. I like kind of the classic bacon. I'm really attached to it. It also comes a little bit thicker, like a slab bacon slice that you might have in a steakhouse, for example. But we're gonna make something right now that is super delicious with this classic bacon, and it's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm not sure we can actually make bacon better than it already is. So you can just fry up some bacon and stop there, or you can make my candy bacon. Now in here in this bowl, I have 12 regular slices of bacon. And to that, I'm gonna add a third of a cup of brown sugar. Just tossing to coat these individual strips of bacon in the brown sugar. Let's add a few cracks of black pepper. And then we just lay it out. Oh my God, this is, this is fun. Don't overcrowd the pan. We wanna give room for this bacon to brown up and cook all nice and candy. And this is something great you can just do right in advance for breakfast tray up your bacon and just have it cook while you organize everything else. All right, so there are six slices of bacon, nice and flat, laid out on the tray, all organized. And then we build our little sandwich, which is very easy. Parchment, bacon and parchment, and then another baking sheet the same size over it. Press down a little bit just to make sure the bacon is essentially flattened in between these two trays. We're gonna take this bacon and bake it for 20 to 35 minutes. So cook it for 20, lift the parchment, check it out to make sure it's crisping and browning, and bake it up to 15 minutes more until it's super crisp and browned and sugary and delicious. All right, so here's the bacon once cooked out of the oven. It's just beautiful, look at that glossy, shiny, smells like smoky, salty, sweet, all at the same time. And to that end, it's such a sort of versatile flavor that it, you can go savory or sweet with it. You could put a little crumble of this on top of a cupcake, on top of a pecan or pumpkin pie. Put a few strips of these just next to some fried eggs and toast to just make that breakfast feel a little bit special. Or you can chop up the bacon a little bit, some crumbles, and just go right on top of vanilla or even chocolate. Ice cream, you could finish this with a little bit of maple syrup. There's really nowhere this bacon doesn't belong. Delicious on a BLT with the natural sweet and tang of tomatoes. This is like that little black dress you have hanging in the closet. It's just good for any occasion.